Good morning and welcome to The Core Connection. I'm Mira Rubin here with you on Enlightened World Network. And today we're going to do uh, a little bit of energy work and learn how to channel energy with our hands. So before we get started, let's just take a minute to sink in and get present. Let's take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it. And as you're holding it, imagine all this wonderful oxygen and vital life energy coursing through every cell of your body. And as you exhale, exhale any tension. Feel the tension and release it from behind your ears and down through your neck and shoulders and your jaw and your back and your hips and your knees and your ankles and your arms and your wrists. And now let's take another deep breath in through your nose. Hold it, and this time imagine just sparkling white light blasting through you and beyond you and enlivening and enlightening every, every molecule and cell of your being. And now let's just gently press our palms together. Softly rub your fingers against your palms. Feel the tingling in your fingers and the tingling in your palms and just how delicious that is like allow yourself to settle in and really feel the the deliciousness of that sensation and then let's just become present right here right now so i'm sure that most of you are familiar with reiki and uh, which is channeled healing energy that's directed through certain symbols but i want to share with you if you're not already doing energy work with your hands, I want to help uh, stimulate that for all of us. Good morning and welcome. So glad to have you here this morning. So what we're going to do is start getting present to the energy that we are and how to move that energy to, um, to create healing, uh, whether it's release of pain. It's kind of miraculous. So years and years ago, years and years ago i had the occasion uh, my grandmother treated me to the silva method training um, it was called silva mind control at that time and now i believe it's called the silva healing method and it was at that time i was just a teenager where i got exposed to the healing energy that we can move through us to assist other people. And um, I had years of being able to experiment with this and, and uh, be able to support people in relieving their pain. And it was really, really, really cool. So good morning, Dido. We're doing, we're doing uh, energy work fundamentals this morning. So here's how you get yourself first to be present to the fact that we are energy. And so the easiest way to do this is really to rub your hands together, rub them together vigorously so that they start to tingle a bit. And now that you have this energy going between your hands, hi, Natalie, good morning, welcome. So glad to have you here. We're doing energy work. So just rub your hands together really quickly and then what you're going to do is stop rubbing them together and you'll feel your hands tingling. And when your hands are tingling, what I'd like you to do is to have the hands facing each other and feel that tingling. And as you sort of press those hands gently together, you kind of can imagine that there's a ball there and you can start feeling the perimeter of that ball and as you press gently you can feel it compressing so Natalie I'm going to ask you for feedback and Dido too um, as you press your hands together gently do you feel that energy and as you pull them apart slowly do you feel that energy and you might feel it as a tingling you might feel it as a sensation of temperature and um, you might even feel it as a little bit of tension. Like as I'm pulling my hands apart, I'm feeling more heat and a little bit of tension. Um, and you want to just move them gently and sort of shape this energy ball. Just imagine that you're shaping and holding this energy ball. Isn't that cool, Natalie? 
you re it's it's really really cool and so this is something we're going to practice this and as you practice it you if you're around somebody else you can have somebody else put their hand through the middle of your two hands and they will be able to feel it and you'll be able to feel their hand moving through that energy field so how cool is that natalie right and and dido i'm hoping you're playing too it's pretty awesome and as you experiment with this over time like if it if it gets a little bit um uh dicey you know if it, it sort of disappears you can rub your hands together again and try it again so here just sort of bring it back and you can feel that energy and so when i first discovered this energy i it started really running through my hands like my hands would heat up and you might feel that the temperature in your hands has shifted in mine they've gotten a lot hotter and um yeah it's so cool right natalie so what i did was i started running around and zapping my plants because plants love this energy so um you can just put your energy your hands above your plants and and allow them to receive that energy and then i noticed that my plants were really a whole lot happier it was amazing and um I also learned that I could support people with releasing headaches and back aches and all kinds of other things. Now, here's a trick, and this is actually really, really important because right now this energy that we're playing with is our energy. Okay, so it's the energy of your body. And what we want to do, if you're going to be using this to channel energy through, um, whether even for yourself, like if you have a pain, you can put your hands on that place where the pain is and and this will work but rather than <laughs> cool awesome natalie's going to try it tomorrow why wait why not try try it today but let's just get clear on a, a couple more things first because um we we are energy and you're familiar with batteries you know when you run a battery you can deplete that battery we're a rechargeable battery but we are a battery. So to, to really do this effectively without, without jeopardizing your own energy stream, your own battery, what we want to do is imagine, this is what works best for me, imagine energy coming in through your head. Imagine energy coming up from your feet. So it's coming from above and below and it coming into your heart and then out your arms. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I see. Natalie says it's night. She's in Perth. Well, I'm even more delighted to have you uh, joining us at the end of your day. Um, and so many people were joining us at the beginning. It's, this is great. So you could even, you could even use this as you're going to sleep, Natalie, to just sort of create calm in yourself as well. So you might try that and see if it helps in your sleep. Um, so here's what we want to do. We want to imagine the energy coming from the sky and coming from, or coming from the heavens, coming from the earth, into meeting in our heart, coming out our hands. And that way, what's happening is we're not using our own energy. We're actually recharging ourselves and using the universal energy and as you emanate the universal energy it's caring for you and it's creating this energy stream outward so let's just try that for a second you can start by revving yourself up by rubbing your hands together and then feel the energy between your hands and shape that energy and now that you have that energy sort of moving Imagine the, the light coming from the heavens and from the earth and meeting in your heart and then coming out your hands and notice, like I'm noticing an intensifying or an intensification of that energy. And uh, so what's happening with you? Is it intensifying for you? I'm noticing that it's vibrating. And you just periodically, as you're doing whatever you're doing, you want to remind yourself of the energy coming in from above and below and moving out through your hands 
so that you become like this this channel literally a channel for this universal energy now the reason we want to do that is because if you use all your energy let's say you're not connecting above and below you're using your energy your battery and you're putting out all this energy what I've seen happen with a lot a lot of healer people and had experienced this in my own life in the past was that when I was using my own energy it created a vacuum right so what happens is the energy's going out channeling out somebody's got pain or whatever it's moving through their energy and then somehow it just sort of creates a vacuum that sucks in uh, this is my imagining or my my um, illustration or visualization about how this might work but then what happens is you you've done this work with the other person and then there's this vacuum of energy that then draws in the energy from the other person and um, it can impact you energetically sometimes people end up feeling what the person that they did healing work with felt so if I was working with somebody with a pain in their back I might experience a pain in my back or if somebody was had a, an emotional state that was out of balance that might manifest for me as well because uh, probably if you're listening to this you have some degree of being empathic and as empaths we often receive what's going on in the environment around us without actually being aware that we're taking that on so what you want to do is be alert again be a channel for the universal energy from the heavens from the earth through your heart out your hands rather than using your own energy because it it you get backwash <laughs> if if uh, if you use your own energy and this way when you're using universal energy then you're creating a clear channel that's enlivening you as you're supporting somebody else so I see that there's some other people here with us I'm wondering if you'll chime in and try this out so once again we're gonna rub our hands together and as you practice this it gets stronger and stronger and you don't always even have to get you don't have to uh, you'll get to a point where you don't have to rub your hands together but it's always a nice it's like a jump start for your battery in your car by doing that and then and then sort of compress that energy and feel it compressing and you might feel it as a vibration and a tingling in your palms you might feel it as a tingling in your fingers you might feel it as a shift of temperature and sometimes my hands will get super super hot and one of the things that you can do is when you are in this energized state you can do a scan of somebody like a, a body scan of somebody and your hand will be drawn to where they need the energy work where they need the attention and then you can just sort of use your hand on that area not touching but in the field and something else that I've learned uh, with this kind of energy work is that you get to decide to feel what the distance what the appropriate distance is to be able to be doing the healing work sometimes it's far off the body which is really really interesting so it's in like an astral body or another dimension of energy that's around the body and um, you can move through those fields and and see what distance to be holding your hands from the body actually you may see it but the likelihood is more that you'll feel it like you might get to a certain distance and the heat in your hand increases and then you know that that's the place that you want to be um, addressing the energy and the way that I typically will do that is by gently moving my hand to feel the area that that needs the the attention and again periodically you want to remind yourself pull the energy in from the heavens and from the earth and move that out through your hands um, from your heart so uh, let's see what else we want to 
what we're covering is that um, you don't necessarily need to touch. In fact, most often you won't touch, um, but you could touch, and um, sometimes that's what's called for. And then you might choose, you know, move a distance, feel into that. Um, whether it's a magnetic feeling like you might have when you're when you're holding the energy ball or tingling in your hands or a shift of temperature and typically this is also interesting when I was um, first discovering this what I would notice is that sometimes my hand would get really cold and if I was over an area of the body where my uh, hand got really cold what that indicated to me was that there was energy that was stuck really stagnant because if it were moving and, and lively there would be some temperature there so when I would find cold areas sometimes that was the area that was calling for the energetic attention so does anybody have any questions about this help me out here so I can and uh, help clarify it what we've what we've discovered is that plants love this. Uh, sometimes animals really like it, um, and what I notice is sometimes it's too intense for my cat, for instance. So uh, I'll either move further away in uh, further away in her field, or sometimes she just doesn't like it at all because it's just too much, um, and you can kind of moderate the intensity of the energy that you're moving through with your intention. So it's a matter of uh, regulating, like regulating a hose, uh, like a garden hose, where you have a handle that you can squeeze to amp up the intensity. So as you're, as you're drawing energy from the heavens and from the earth and, and moving it through your body, you can regulate the intensity of that flow with your intention. So you can imagine that it's coming through stronger and heavier. You can imagine that it's coming through more gently as a, as a spray. Natalie says she's going to try it on her animals. Yeah, definitely. Um, s sometimes animals love it and sometimes I know that it's intense energy because my cat just gets up and leaves. <laughs> She's like, no, I don't, I don't want this. It's too much for me right now. So, um, yeah, uh, kids also, it works great with kids and you can share this with kids. Kids are really in tune with this. They can, they get it like that because they're not so far removed and they haven't learned that it's not possible yet. Right. So we get to overcome our biases around this but the coolest thing is that when you're doing this I mean you can bounce that energy when you're doing this have somebody else when you really feel that energy have somebody else put their hand through it you know and you can close your eyes and feel when their hand goes through or you can have them close their eyes and you can move your hands on either side of their hand and they will be able to feel it it's really really remarkable Dido says, I love this. As a highly sensitive person, I often feel so drained just going through my day. So I love that I can tap into universal energy. Absolutely. Absolutely. So whether we're doing energetic healing or channeling for others or not, Dido, you bring up the perfect point is we get to uh, revitalize ourselves. We get to revitalize ourselves by connecting to that universal energy and filling ourselves back up you know, filling the vessel to overflowing. And when we fill the vessel to overflowing, we're, we're in better shape and we're better able to interact with and um, respond to others. So Natalie says, I can feel it if someone takes my energy. Well, so here's a really important thing to realize, Natalie. Yes, there are people that will kind of vampires, energy vampires. The thing is, that if you're full and you're you're like in that flow if you're pulling from the heavens and pulling from the earth and that energy is just flowing through you it it creates sort of a torus a toroidal um, field 
<coughs> and y you won't you won't experience people sucking your energy as as readily because you're full so what I notice for myself is that when I'm when I'm not full that's when people can take my energy and, and I feel depleted. When I'm full, I, I don't, I'm not as susceptible to that. So there are lots of things that we want to do to, uh, you know, there are a lot of healer people that talk about protection. I don't know. Natalie says, I did learn to take a warlock energy one time, and I don't know exactly what that means. I mean, I know what warlocks are, but I don't know what that means so I don't know if you want to elaborate or not but it's getting interesting um, what we want to do when we're playing with energy is be alert that that we I am really specific in saying draw from the heavens and draw from the earth and um, that's gonna and then bring that into your heart and through your hands that's a universal energy and um, it's it's just it's light, it's light energy, and um, there are all kinds of energies that we can hook into. And as highly sensitive people, I'm sure you're alert to that. That there are people that have really dark energy, and there are people who suck energy. And and the thing is that when we're whole, when we're full, we're we're good. We don't, we're not um, at the effect of those things. So I know, as I was saying, a lot of healer people who talk about protection. And to me, in my experience, and you may find otherwise, but I invite you to entertain that when we are full, when we are connected, this heaven and earth energy, and we're moving that through as a constant channel, that that's that that we are natively protected it's kind of like building your immune system and that is your immune system at least that's my experience so um, you may you may experience differently I invite you to experiment with it so um, any questions this is pretty cool right it's pretty cool because we do have the ability we are energy that's what it comes down to we are energy we do have the ability to focus and channel and direct that energy for ourselves and others and I'm just gonna end with a really 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 cool story um, and that is that I have a nephew that, well I have two nephews but um, I had from the time they were little kids I played with them with crystals and energy work and whatever and um, one of my nephews had an experience that was really really mind-blowing where a friend of his had gotten a burn like a third degree burn and um, he he did energy work with his hands and he said his recounting of that experience was he got so still and so present that he could hear a spider walking and as he held his hands over his friends I believe it was his leg um, he and his friend and some other friends observed the burn healing right before their eyes and it just it just healed and uh, it it terrified him I think um, because he just didn't know how to contextualize that that energy and that power and he stopped doing the healing stuff after that which was really unfortunate but it the story is to say we are powerful beyond measure and powerful beyond our imagining and we have capabilities that we haven't even begun to tap and this little technique of rubbing your hands starting to feel the energy playing with that energy and then plugging into the heavens and the earth is is potentially life altering so 
with that, I'm going to wrap up for the morning, and I hope this was fun and enlivening, and I hope that you use it, and you use it with, um, with the clarity that you're pulling in from the heavens and pulling in from the earth, and you're using universal energy rather than your own energy, and uh, see how your plants and animals like it. And lots and lots of love to you. This is The Core Connection. I'm Mira Rubin, and we're here on Enlightened World Network. Please check out the other wonderful, wonderful programming on Enlightened World. And I am here every weekday morning at 9 a.m. I hope to see you tomorrow. But before I go, Natalie says, um, he took my energy every time I saw him. I had a witch friend that was teaching me what he was doing to me. Wow. Well, Natalie, again, in from the heavens, up from the earth, make your field whole and complete. And with that, I wish you a wonderful, energized day or night with lots of love and lots of compassion.